heavy. Probably because there's a mouse colony in here. It's froze up. Well, if this is the original engine, it's a 301 Poly V8. Looks to be pretty original. And no inspection stickers. So I don't know when this thing was last on the road because it don't have a license plate either. I don't have keys, but I don't see hidden keys in here. Sometimes I find them tied up on the radiator support.
Everything's pretty crusty in here. So not sure if this will run anytime soon. It's got a little bit of wool in it. Transmission fluid does not smell too good. The odometer says 80 some thousand, which is probably accurate. some point the interior was redone it's not original seats and the door panels have been partially recovered that's original i'm pretty sure this was replaced Headliners hanging down. It kind of got ruined actually. $89,734. Looked in the glove box and there wasn't anything in there but the dome lens. Dash pad was recovered at some point too. And all the insulation from the headliner is falling into the seat. That's gross. Is the top of the line sports suburban? Surprisingly, this Plymouth M was still on the tailgate. Those always disappear, and the tailgate's not rotted out, which is a common thing. Of course, at some point, a tree fell over and busted the glass out of the back. Got a replacement, but you can't get the tailgate open unless you can roll the glass down. And. Uh, Either the handle is locked, which makes it free spin, or there's something broken inside the mechanism. So I have to figure that out so I can get this glass to roll down. And that's how you open it, you pull that back, but it's got a safety mechanism to keep you from opening it so you don't, I guess, bust the glass out unintentionally. There's the original wheels and tires that I swapped out earlier. Just threw them in the back on the way home. Stuck the hubcaps on there and had this old set of uh, wore out 
white walls. Makes it look a little less abandoned. And got all most that surface rust off. So it's back into a color besides rust. And has that patina that everyone apparently loves. There are some old stickers on here, but can't really make them out. In 5666, it had 59,721 miles. It's about the only one I can really read. Floors are not the worst I've seen. The original rubber floor in all station wagons. Uh, in this era had rubber mats didn't matter if it was top of the line or bottom of the line they had the rubber mats this car also has power steering torque flight three speed automatic variable wipers and a windshield washer there's the pedals right there And I went to look at the car, the doors were kind of open, so that's probably what helped speed up the warpage of these door panels. <laughs> now that did shut. Not anymore. That's why the door was up. Oh, there we go. For some reason, this glass is busted on the inside. I'm not sure if they had stuff stored in there and actually went forward and hit the glass. It's only on the inside. Somebody pilfered the uh, side view mirrors. They weren't original anyway. And the headlights, it looks like. on the fenders.